growing up on the south side of Chicago, it's a lot of adversity that you have to face. Gymnastics changed my life. Not for gymnastics. I would probably be in the streets, you know, selling drugs, maybe even locked up. Who knows? It just really brought out the best in me. One, two, three, four, five. Straight here. Six, I want to give seven, back to the city and back to my community. Nine, 30. I use the coach stretch. And uh, he's been out here producing great gymnasts as a coach. Straight legs in the back. My coach is great. He brings me to practice when my mom can't. He's like a big brother to me, basically. Point the feet, point the feet. Whenever you feel like you're ready to quit, you always keep reminding yourself of your goal. My goal is to make it to the 2016 Olympics in Chicago. Well, this will be fun to coach today. It will be. Yeah. I'm excited. I you know I got my start in the Parks and Rec program. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, you guys, John, Jerome, everybody come here for a second. How are you? Hey, how are you? Doing? Nice right. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Dominique Dow, three times hey, Olympian, coming in. Oh, Peter oh, Vitma, oh, coming oh, in. It's one time in a lifetime, an opportunity that a kid's gonna say, hey, I met an Olympian. Well, thanks for letting us take over in your practice today. It's a lot of fun. I realize that there is a, an untapped resource in this country. There's many, many young people who really don't have a chance to participate in a sport like gymnastics unless they're provided with an opportunity such as you'd find here. It's great, good job. High toe on that front foot. World Sports Chicago has been doing wonderful outreach work to get kids in the urban area involved in different sports, Olympic sports like badminton or fencing or track or of course gymnastics. From age 10 to 15, I learned so much about myself. I learned the importance of hard work. I learned the importance of commitment. And I also learned the importance of having the right people around you. Excellent. Ah, that's okay. Let's do it again, no big deal. And all the kids understand that it's making circle. a mistake is not the end of the world. You know, you accomplish something Excellent. every time you make a mistake. Very good. I just want to see each and every kid do something with their life. I don't want to see the kids end up on a street corner. Of the thousands of young people doing gymnastics every day, maybe six of them are going to make that Olympic team once every four years. These young people have a chance to learn things that will help them in their future that maybe they can't learn in any other environment. He was a great performer. He has a lot of talent for his age. When he talked to me, it kind of motivates me. It just helps out a lot when you hear from an Olympian. I got my start in a parks and recreation program almost identical to this, and I became an Olympic champion. So never, ever sell short of it. Yeah. There's going to be over 300 kids coming to this event. It's going to be wild and crazy for them. It's a big motivational boost to show them that they can do it. It's real special to them. A lot of the black American kids never, ever have experienced this kind of atmosphere. They are already seeing like the 2016 Olympics being here. Can you imagine yourselves being out here like this? Can you think about that? You can? So I want you to do a basic move, something simple, and then I want you to wave to the crowd. And wave, 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 wave for the big smile. And you can just see it in their face. It's incredible to them. Great. Watching Junior on the floor today, I immediately saw the lights go on in him. You don't normally get him to be that exuberant. The sky is the limits, basically. Any individual that sets their mind to do it, they can achieve the goal. And I'm just here to help them along the ride. <laughs> In a couple of years, we'll be doing this competition.